My name's Chris. I'm from Pagham, West Sussex. Tough at times. It is tough, especially I've never been in the gym. Uh, I've never actually tested myself in a gym. Uh, I found it tough the first two weeks. Everything's cleared up. Um, no aches, no pains. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in good, good shape. <laughs> that might not look like it, but I'm in good shape. My main reasons was there was two. There was one, it was my mental state. I was really bad with my mental state and I needed some sort of release to try and get it all out. And the other one, I was in poor health. You know, I was over 20 stone and I needed some, someone to help me to try and drop the weight yeah. and I needed someone to show me how to drop the weight the, perf the, the right way in a sense and um, come in here and they've, you've helped me out to do it. In six weeks I've been able to up my cardio from absolutely zero from literally going out of breath after about five, ten minutes of walking. I can now go miles and miles and hours of walking without even getting a big breath of air. And, uh, my mental state is completely clear. I've got loads of um, clear ideas now of what I want to do and, and where to go in the future in the next 5, 10, 15 years. And that's just coming here, working out, listening to the coaches, talking to them, uh, and just enjoying the atmosphere. It, it's what it is, it's just the atmosphere. It's a great community atmosphere in here. Um, it's hard to describe without actually being here. It's just fun. The banter's good, the, you know, the push. Yes, it's hard work and they do push you, but it's fun. And that's the main thing, and that's what I'll get up every morning and I'm like, right, I'm down there tomorrow morning, or today, or tomorrow, whatever it is, I'm down there, that's the first thing I look forward to, is coming down here, and at the end of it, you might be crawling out the door, but you, you, you enjoy it, you know, that's the main thing, that's, that's what I really enjoy. At the moment, start of my week six, I'm down about two, two, two point one, two point two, something like that. You can, I can see it. You can literally see it as it's striking around. My trousers now are way too big for me. Um, uh, which is sort of a laugh because you're trying to belt them up and it's like you're going even more and more nudges sort of thing. But yeah, I can see the change. It, physically, it's going to take time for me to get to a, a decent weight, but really it's the mentality that I can see changing in me. Um, just, you know, a different mentality every day. Uh, I get up and I've just got this push to go to really get into the day. Um, nothing else brings me down. As soon as I've been here three days a week, I'm fine for the rest of the day. And nothing can touch me now. I'm just really, you know, in my own world and sort of like, you know, yeah. If I carry on going for six more weeks, six months, six years, whatever it is, I think I'll probably get down to the, mo the best weight I've ever been down to. And I'll probably end up being the best person that I am. To catch that up, because I had a lot of negativity in my mind and a lot of fogginess in my mind because of, you know, previously I've been bullied for most of my life. And I was starting to listen to the little voice in my head saying I wasn't worth it and stuff like that. And coming here for the first two weeks, it sort of cleared the mind a little bit. And the little voice in my head's nearly gone. I'll say it's a little, there's about a 10% of it still sitting there, but I hardly hear it now. It's now and again when I'm sort of like either at work or something, I might hear the little thing. I'm like, ah, well, yeah, whatever. Well. But I know that all I've got to do is look forward to that first day back in the gym and it's gone. Because, you know, the size of me and everything like that, I thought, oh God, here we go. It's going to be all eyes on me. And I can't hide. I'm one of those people, I can't, I'm center of the room. You know, everywhere I've gone, everyone looks them to me. And sometimes that can, play, that can play on you. But once I got in, I got talking to all the others, I got talking to the, the trainers and everything like that, that just disappeared. And I found myself going, okay, well, I'm accepted. They're all helping me in some sort of way, where it be the trainers helping me with, you know, weights or um, the cardio machines, or whether it be one of the other people with me that's training going, well done, you've done well, give me a high five, something like that. It's just an encouragement all the way around. And you won't feel that way. Uh, you won't feel stupid or anything like that afterwards. It's just, get that first day out. Once you get that first day in, you'll feel perfect. You really will. I mean, look, look at me. I had nothing going into this six weeks ago. And already, I can't shut up. I can't shut up. I'm talking all the time now because I've had, I've had so much in myself that I've just kept myself quiet that this has just given me the release to just open up and open up those valves and just talk and talk and talk and talk. Do you feel more comfortable? I do. I do indeed. I walk into a place now, whether it is at work or whether it's in my home life or wherever it is, and I just feel so confident, head up, shoulders back, chest out. I just walk. And no matter what anyone says about me or whatever it is, it's just water for ducks back. I just don't listen to them. Before I would have been head down, sort of shoulders hunched over like that, and just sort of like, okay, I'll try and cap down, sort of walk, you know. I knew the eyes were on me, but now it's like, I don't care. Would you recommend it? Recommend, I would definitely recommend this. <laughs> if you've never been in the gym, if you just want, if you've dreamt of doing it, come here, talk to Ben, talk to Mike, talk to Ellie. 
they will get you in the best shape of your life. It may not seem like that at the moment, but I'm still, you know, it's only six weeks, it's gonna take time. But trust me, you're gonna love it. Just come in here, the banter, the laughter, everything. It is just worth it. You will work out, they will stretch you, you will bend in places you never thought you could bend. Trust me, I, 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 trust me, I'm doing bending things that I thought I could never bend. And yet, here's my foot under, under one leg, one foot over the other leg. It's like doing yoga. I'm, I'm, it's fantastic, it really, really is. And I go out there feeling brilliant. Afterwards, yes, you're tired, yes, one or two muscles are aching, but give it an hour and you it feel like you're not even bent because you're just walking around loose and you just really highly recommend this. I couldn't recommend this anymore. It took me probably three or four years to really sort of say, right, let's go and get this. And I parked up outside one day, I never told you this, but I parked out one side to check out what it was like. And I was just outside across the, across the car park. And I thought, okay, I found the place, let's have a look. And the doors were open, I was looking around, going, looking at everyone going, okay, okay, so this is what, this is it, right? Saw the advert, did that, yeah, highly recommend it. Don't second guess yourself, come and do it. Just come. Mm. Uh, but it's all true though, you, know, you do get that, in, that mindset of, oh no, what they're gonna be like, they're gonna be strict, they're gonna be hard, they're gonna be this, but they're not. They will, they will, yes, they will push you, but it's a, it's a good push. You know, they just want you to be in the best shape that you can be, and you do have to push yourself. Like today, 20 minutes on a bike. I've never ridden a bike for 20 minutes for about 20, 30 years <laughs> since I was in college. And I was struggling after about five minutes, but I still went the full 20 minutes, you know, and yeah, I was getting to the point where I was getting <laughs> like that, and I was, going, I was like, no, if the person next door to me can do it, I can do it, you know, and it's not a competition, it's always you versus you. That's the biggest thing, it's always you. For, don't worry about what the next person's doing. If they're more advanced than me, I don't mind. If I can keep pace and they're doing, they did a round of, say, five rounds, I did four, I'm happy with that. If I can do 20 minutes on a bike and they do 30 minutes, I'm happy with that. It's just what I can do. And I say that to anyone, just turn up, put the work in. What you get out of it afterwards, that's your own personal, you know, take. But for me, coming here, I've put my two feet in, I've put, my, I've put everything I can into it. Yes, there's been times where I've had to stop and take a breather, but then I would take a couple of seconds and then get straight back into it because I knew that if I stopped, I'm only fighting myself. And at the end of the day, I know that I can keep going. Yeah, it might, you know, I might need another six weeks, six months, a year or so just to really get my cardio really into good shape. But yeah, I, I just go straight into it. Because I don't have a lot of people in my social life, I find myself, I'm more isolated to myself and I have myself for company. But coming here, I've opened up more and I've opened, I've broken those walls down a, a little bit more than what I usually do. And it's like, I can come in here, have a laugh. I can have a conversation with anyone here to find out how they do it. If they say to me, oh, I'm doing this, I will talk to them the next time and say, how did, how did that go? Or how did this go? Whereas before, I wouldn't do that. I would just keep to myself in my own little way and just go, oh, okay, let's, let's just get on. But now I'm, in, I'm integrating myself into conversations. Uh, and that I find a bit more easier you know, than what it was. Awesome. Anything, the sky's the limit with me now. <laughs>